Shanghai, home to 23 million and growing larger by the minute. Rapidly increasing relationships with the West are changing the face of modern China. Western brands such as H&M and Maybelline have taken over from local businesses. Foreign stories of angels and princesses have coloured young Chinese minds with dreams of fairy tale weddings. In the Western is uh, quite formal because we see a lot of movies and the, the wedding held in the church and everything in white. And but now pe people, more and more young people want a different wedding. They want to show their characters. Mm. And uh, also, it's uh, also a trade. Although the, the percentage is not too high, I think that 10 or 20 percent people want the Chinese wedding. In reality, however, the stiff competition to success leaves little time for young people to find the perfect soulmate. Added to this is the increasing pressure put on this generation of only children by parents and grandparents alike to produce an heir. So how do today's young Chinese find their perfect match? Don't say no, 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 no. Just say yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll go it's 9am on Saturday morning, and while most expats are only just waking up, Locals all over the city have been up and about since the crack of dawn. In Shanghai's iconic People's Square, love is already in the air. Hundreds of parents and grandparents assemble at the weekly marriage market to cover floors and walls with banners and flyers advertising various young, eligible men and women for the soon arriving crowds of hopefuls. The process is simple. It follows more or less the traditional way of matchmaking by establishing contacts and approval of both parents before the couple meet. If they agree, phone numbers are exchanged and a dinner date soon follows. The future of the relationship then lies in the hands of the couple. Let's just run, girl. Sadly, this only happens in ideal situations. It can be ages until a suitable candidate is found, and more often than not, parents end up arguing the value of their offspring. Start to seem like a worry in China. Maybe they worry a girl after they graduate. Maybe. They think you need to get married as soon as possible after you graduate. Otherwise, you don't you didn't get the good guy. <laughs> so the parents, some of the parents really start to push them. Don't want them to be left. Mr. Wong, a regular visitor to the marriage market, has, like many others, been searching for a suitable partner for his daughter for a very long time. He asked not to be filmed. Although this style of local matchmaking is widespread, few of the children themselves are happy about it. They can't believe their own parents are attempting to hook them up with the next best desperate stranger while they themselves are busy working or studying abroad. They would much rather take matters into their own hands.